Hello and welcome to the latest uh, Chelsea dressing room debrief. And I've been a uh, lack of content on my channel for, uh, this week just because I've been working the Cheltenham Festival. Um, and yeah, it's been a great week, great week of racing, just been really busy. But yeah, let's kick off. Um, Chelsea drawing 2 2 with Everton last night. Um, yeah, really frustrating way to to end the game. Eight ninth minute equaliser and really sloppy defending uh, from Koulibaly and Kepa. Um, yeah, it's just annoying. I thought we played really well and looking looked like we were going to head for the fourth, uh, fourth victory in a row. Um, and we're showing signs that are quite positive, which is good. It's just, I think we just let ourselves down with these little moments at the moment. I think Kepa hoofed it up the pitch when he didn't need to. He could have, you know, either, well, if you're going to do that, either kick it out of play, or I think he should have played it short to Reese James. Um, and then Kula Bali gets done too easily. And when Kepa gets a hand to it, I think he should have saved it. Um but yeah, it's just it's just frustrating because those players have been playing well recently and they always let themselves down with sort of mistakes like that. Um, but yeah, it's 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 the, the most frustrating thing for me, I thought, was Potter's substitutions. And he's done this quite a bit at the moment in the 60th minute where we, we just go in, we get a one-nil up, one-nil lead or a one-goal lead, and he sort of reverts back to this defensive mindset. And I just don't understand it because we're playing so well and we were dominating Everton, really. And they were there for you know the taking and for to go and score three or you know four goals. And he he just get that goal and he then he brings on uh, takes off Pulisic and puts on Gallagher and then he puts on Ch Chikawameka and it, Ruben Loftus-Cheek and there's no like there's no it takes off our attacking flair like Jao Felix and things like that and there's no real sort of attacking threat like if he brought Mod Mudrick on I'd understand it um because you've got that sort of pace and that directness up top um but he didn't and I just there's just no need for it I just don't get it you invite him pressure on yourself and Chelsea Football Club, with no disrespect to Everton, should be dominating and beating Everton quite comfortably. Um, and I just don't understand why you, when you're playing well, you've got a bit of form about you. You need to go and defend a 1-0 lead at home. I just don't understand it. I mean, I can understand if he did that at 2-0 up, uh, you know, with 30 minutes to play, but I just I just don't understand. I just didn't understand it. Um, I thought we, um, we played well. I, I, I just thought... We still lack that that cutting edge, that little bit of something um, in the final third. Um, we, you know, move the ball well, create chances, but there's just that little bit of, you know, killer instinct I think we lack. And we really need that if we're going to go and compete next season. Um, the Champions League draw, I thought, um, something was a bit odd when you get Benfica, Napoli, AC Milan and Inter Milan all drawn on the same side of the draw and Chelsea, Bayern Munich, Man City and Real Madrid on the other side. I think the probability of that happening is so slim that I just, you know, I'm not saying you wait for a rigged it, but it's, it's, just, it's just, what are the chances of that happening? Um, but yeah, who knows what's going to happen? I mean, we're massive, massive underdogs against any of the three teams, especially against Madrid, who just, you know, swept Liverpool aside and, you know, we are not exactly in good form this season. Um, but, you know, you never know in the Champions League. I mean, the last sort of two times we've won it, I never expected that team to go on and win it, especially in 2012. So we need to sort of conjure some of that spirit and hopefully, um, yeah, we can uh, beat Real Madrid again.